There are currently three types of AI-generated videos. The first is a talking head video, where an AI-generated person speaks to the audience. The second type uses stock video and text and is popular for short-form content. The third type is the one I specialize in, which uses AI art to create visually stunning videos. While we can expect full-blown AI-generated videos in the future, for now, these are the types of videos available to the public. It's worth noting that none of these methods come with audio by default, although some AI is in the works that can generate sound to match what's on screen. In the next five years or less, we can expect to have an all-in-one package. For this video, we'll focus on the type of AI-generated video I create. To get started, you'll need to install Stable Diffusion on your local machine. The installation process can be quite technical, so I recommend checking out this helpful tutorial video that I found online. Keep in mind that the higher the visual quality you aim for, the better your system needs to be. For example, rendering a 2.5-minute video with a 1080p output could take up to 12 and a half hours, while a 480p output would take just one hour. You can always upscale your videos, so there's some wiggle room in terms of quality. The most critical aspect of AI-generated videos is the prompts. You can test if you have a good prompt by having the software create an AI image. Experimenting with negative prompts can also help fine-tune the output. For example, my negative prompts include human face, fingers, human eyes, disfigured, ugly, deformed, low quality, blurry, watermark, signature, and bad proportions. Once you have your prompts set up, decide on the frames per second, FPS, you want to use. I usually set mine to 15 FPS. Next, you'll need to generate a script using ChatGPT and input it into QuiltBot. QuiltBot helps make the script sound more natural. Finally, use Eleven Labs Voice Cloner to get your AI-generated voiceover. Note any limits you might have to deal with and try to work around it. Other tools might be required due to this. Once you have your script and voiceover ready, it's time to create the visuals. Use the keyframe settings to control the pacing and timing of the video. For instance, if something is set around the 10-second mark, Keep in mind that it corresponds to 150 frames in 15 FPS. Adjust the prompts to coincide with what's happening on screen. To get the timing right, I recommend using short videos to get a feel for how fast or slow the settings under keyframe should be. If you encounter any issues, double-check your syntax and ensure that you don't have any extra elements. The process isn't user-friendly, but assuming everything goes smoothly, you can use a simple video editor like Camtasia to piece everything together. Remember that there's currently no single-click solution for AI-generated videos. While I anticipate that such a solution will come, it's possible that you'll need a top-of-the-line computer to run it.